guys, so today I'm filming a video that I've wanted to film for such a long time, but I only finally got the motivation to do so. And that is going to be to start my decluttering and purge video series. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Before I get into the nail polish purge and talking about how I'm organizing my nail polishes now, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. For those of you who are just finding my channel or might not have been with me since the beginning, I know some of you have been. When I was younger, I used to fill emotional voids with items, with products, with makeup, with nail polish. As many of you know, when I was younger, I did suffer from social anxiety. I didn't really have a lot of friends. I really didn't do much. My life is pretty, I hate to say it, but pretty unfulfilling. When I found YouTube, it gave me something to do and haul videos were super, you know, popular. They still are, but they were even more popular back when I started, if you can imagine. So I became known as like the little 13 year old who would have $300 Mac hauls every week. At that point in my life, the only thing that was really giving me any like substantial joy and happiness was like buying things which is really unhealthy and I'm so thankful that now my happiness is not based on items or objects or how much nail polish I have because that is not a good way to live. I ended up feeling very, very cluttered over the years. That's why I have Ali Sadal's closet where I sell my makeup and clothes. I just try and get rid of things that I don't use. I don't have any specific method. I don't use the Marie Kondo method where I pick up something and if it sparks joy, I keep it. Um, Cause I find that kind of weird to be honest. No offense to anyone who does the, the method, but honestly for me, purging and getting rid of stuff is not that hard. I don't need to see if something sparks joy within myself. How I go about it, whether it's clothes, shoes, makeup, anything, is just if I use it. I don't want to keep anything that I don't use. So I decided that I wanted to get rid of my nail polishes because I had a 90 nail polish rack. I had filled it up. I had nail polishes in my makeup drawers. I had nail polishes in my bathroom, in my sister's room. I had probably close to... 130 nail polishes, which is absolutely crazy and I wanted to get that god-awful nail polish rack off of my wall in my bedroom No offense to anyone who has that in their room, but for me, I just find it kind of tacky I feel like I'm in a nail salon and when I got the nail polish rack I honestly remember being like I want to get it so I can fill it up and people can like see how much nail polish I have because I don't know it's like sick and I don't recommend it I feel like some youtubers are like that today They just like buy and buy and buy just to show because I don't know if they want people to be jealous or whatever but yeah, that's just not who I am anymore. I use pretty much like the same colors all the time So I wanted to get rid of a big majority of my nail polishes just because I didn't need it in my life I'm gonna take you through my purging process and show you my organization now But before I get started, I just want to talk a little bit about how I'm storing my nail polishes now And I'm absolutely obsessed with it I kept sending pictures to my friends last night and they were like, oh my gosh, like what is that? That's so cool So this is how I'm storing my nail polishes now. It's called the color clutch This is the 18 nail polish holder and it just opens like this and you can store 18 nail polishes as you can see this top row is Essie Essie is my favorite nail polish brand and all of the nail polishes I am keeping will be listed in the down bar below and I'm probably gonna be keeping this on my white bookshelf over there and then because I do have more nail polish I also got the travel case so if you don't have a lot of nail polish and you just want something compact and easy then this is also really great. I get my nails done. For everyone asking, I get acrylics and I just ask them to make them short. You have to be stern. I don't care how many times I have to ask if I'm paying $40 for a set of nails, I am gonna enjoy it. Pretty much like what I have in here are all like brighter colors that I typically wear more during the summer. The reason why I kept the rack for so long though was because I didn't know how else to store them. I had so many of them and I didn't wanna throw them into a makeup bag where I wouldn't be able to see them and I'd have to dig through them. So when I saw this, I just thought it was like the perfect solution. The 18 case holder retails for $29.99 and the travel case retails for $24.99. There is a special going on right now and if you want to get two of the 18 case ones, it is only $49.99. If you live in an apartment, this literally takes up two inches of space. Like you could fit this in your kitchen cupboard. It's like about the size of a cereal box. Honestly, that's probably a good comparison. I didn't know this, but apparently it's better to store your nail polish in an upright position. So this is a really great way to keep them standing up and increasing the longevity of your nail polishes because these little things are expensive. I have Tons of different shapes and bottles and they all fit. The only ones that I wouldn't see fitting would be the Christian Louboutin like spiked dagger ones or just like really abnormal shaped bottles but I have I had some really big bottles that I didn't think were gonna fit and they fit like a glove. So I just think this is a genius idea and I wanted to share it with you guys because I wanted to like scream this from the rooftops when I saw it and oh, 
I filmed myself putting them in and it is so satisfying to watch. If you also enjoyed that video clip, let me know because I keep watching it. It's really weird. But I'm so happy I got that god awful rack down. My corner looks so much bigger. It's amazing. I think this is like a little art piece by itself. It looks like a little shadow box. As always, links to everything and all the colors that I'm keeping are listed down below. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you want to see more decluttering videos. I'd be happy to make them. They're some of my favorite to watch. And I feel like they're kind of like ASMR. Like they're kind of relaxing. I don't know why. But anyways... I'm gonna, I rambled on long enough, so I'm gonna let you guys get into this video, and without further ado, let's start decluttering. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system, announcing the commencement of the annual nail polish purge, sanctioned by the US government. As you can see, I have a lot of nail polish, and the sad part is, this is not even all of them. I have some in my sister's room, I have some in the bathroom. This is a, I think it's a 90 nail polish rack. I got it on eBay. I filled it up. Today my mission is going to be to get rid of all the colors I won't wear, or don't use, or would not wear. Let's get started. So I just put a sheet, not a sheet, a towel on my bed in case any one of these are dirty, and I will be getting rid of the ones I I don't wear or use and you'll see which ones I get to, I choose to keep. Over here I have three different categories. Here I have keep. I want to keep my keep to around 25 and then trash for ones that are like goopy or really old and then give away. This is Orly Le Chateau. Maybe I'll keep this because it is a cream. It's nice for the winter, but I don't know. For sure, I want to keep the L'Oreal Haute Couture Red. This is Tickle My Francie. I can't see myself wearing it. I think it looks like a decomposing finger. Armed and Ready by Essie. I know for sure I'm going to give away because I don't like sparkly colors. This Revlon in Carbonite, I've never worn this. This for sure in keeping, it's one of my favorite colors. It's by Formula X and it's the, it's the color Infatuated. This is also by Formula X. It is like a lime green. I've never worn it, but I don't know. In the summer, I think it's a really nice color on your nails. So I'm gonna keep this. This color I would never wear. It's Essie Decadent Diva. This is Turquoise and Caicos. If it's goopy, it's automatic. Yeah, this is trash. Cajun Shrimp by OPI. I love this color for summer. This is That's Hot Pink. This kind of color reminds me of an Old Navy shirt I would wear when I was really fat. So I never want to wear nail colors that are this color because it reminds me of that god-awful shirt. <laughs> Of grenadine by Essie. I do like this color. I'm gonna keep it because I do like it during the summer. I can tell you right away Essie smooth sailing, not for me. Madame Glam, I think happy birthday. I do love that color. OPI, do you lilac it? Do you see this? I think it's done. Essie, au natural. It's like a nude with shimmer. I'm gonna give it away because I don't like it. This is by the vegan brand. It's the color, it doesn't say. It's a nice nude. I'll put in the maybes because I did just order a nude, so I don't know if I need to keep that. This is a pretty nice color by Joe. It's called Orchid. I've worn this recently, so I'll keep it. Metro Chic by OPI. It's a, it's a nice color. Oh my gosh, you guys remember when this was like so hard to find? It's Hidden Treasure by um, Sally Hansen. Basically, you would just put it over like as a top coat and it had like all these like iridescent like sparkles and like people on YouTube, like grown women were freaking out over this. This is SD Romper Room. I love this color, but I think it's like, it's all goopy, so not worth it. And I just ordered a color just like this. Madame Glam Orange. I'm already keeping like a few orange nail polishes, so I'll give it away. Mm -hmm. 
let me get rid of all the ones that I'm getting rid of and then I will show you which ones I have left. Currently I have 33 including the three little mini ones. I think that's pretty good. I wanted around 25 and I have 33 including like three little mini ones. And I have two that I will be back to macking. I think I have a pretty good like selection. I'm pretty happy with how I have, you know, condensed everything actually. The only ones I'm kind of iffy about are, um, like these two. Sometimes I do want like a rose gold nail polish and I'm like, oh, better not like throw that out. Now if I was planning to keep this nail polish rack, I would only have enough to fill up two rows. So I'm really, really happy with all the progress I made. I think I have a good selection of colors. I definitely want to get more of like a winter, like cherry red. And I have a giveaway bag full of like so many nail polishes which I'm gonna give to my mom to look through and then my mom will probably give it to her friends or my cousin. People will just like pick over it until it's all gone. I've wanted to do this for a while and I'm gonna be really happy with my new organization because I can't wait to take that rack down. Like look, this is stuffed to the brim, super heavy. I'm really happy. Are you getting it down? Do you want me to hold it? As you can see, my color clutch fits all of my nail polishes, all the different bottles and different shapes. I thought some of them would be too big, but they weren't. And I love that I'm able to see all of them. Probably just gonna keep this on one of my shelves just because I like being able to see it. It's kind of like art to me. I love all the different colors. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.